What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for stopping by today. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can sync up your Fortnite emotes with your Razer or Logitech keyboard, mouse, or anything, you know, equipment-wise that lights up on your setup. Now, I believe I am the first person to show you about how to do this because, you know, I've tried to look and I've been looking for a while. And in order to do this, guys, all you need is one program. Now, the reason that I'm making this tutorial was because in the patch notes for 7.4, they did allow access to this. So, a lot of people have been asking me how you were able to do this. So, I was like, listen... How am I able to configure my keyboard to do so? And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But before we do get into it, guys, if you want to go ahead and support me, you could use my supporter creator code YOGEV in the item shop. I typically don't do like these types of videos, but I, I love to do tutorials. And I was like, a lot of people have been asking me, so why not? And feel free to subscribe if you are new to the channel for the latest Fortnite news, content leaks, and all of that great stuff, guys. And without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So this tutorial is going to be going first from Logitech, but then I'm going to be switching roles depending on what you have to download. So basically... It'll make sense whenever I go into the tutorial. So the first thing that you have to do is go ahead and obviously need an equipment that's Logitech or Razer. Go ahead and download the Logitech gaming software. You can just type that in Google and it'll pop up. I'll actually leave a link down below for you to actually do this. So it'll be a lot easier. That's the only thing that you have to download for Logitech. Once you go ahead and start it up, it'll tell you like two screens. It'll tell you audio visualizer on the left and then some other thing on the right. Once you go back into the Logitech gaming software, you guys are going to see the third one down is going to be audio visualizer. And if you take a look also, Fortnite is the first one, which was probably just added. But you just disregard that, go into audio visualizer and you're going to see in the middle tab, it's going to say start applet. Once you go ahead and do that, your keyboard and your mouse are going to shut off, but they are still on. Keep everything the same. You go ahead and play music if it's either on you know the Fortnite emotes or if it's on YouTube and it'll react. But this video is going to be mainly for the Fortnite emotes. I'm going to show you how it works right now. So as you see in the video, I have my Fortnite open. And then once I go ahead and do an emote, you see that my keyboard is now lighting up and it's pretty much cooperating as well what it is with the emo. And this works with anything. It could work for YouTube videos. It can work for like emotes, just like I said. It could work for anything audio related, but it's pretty cool to kind of, you know, take the L or, you know, living large, just like, just like I was doing in the video and just kind of, you know, seeing what your keyboard can do. Now that's pretty much it for Logitech. Now for Razer, now what you're going to have to download is either one of two different things. The second one is most likely what's going to work. So go ahead and download Razer Synapse. It's like their, you know, Logitech gaming software, but their version. You download that, it reads whatever Razer you have. If that doesn't work and you don't see any audio visualizer in that app, because I haven't been there in a while, I've used it back like a year and a half, two years ago. If that doesn't work, go ahead and download visualizer.exe. That it actually works perfectly fine for me when I did it. And it still works till this day. I tried it about, I would say, four or five months ago and it actually still worked so go ahead and download visualizer.exe i'll try to put a link down below because that takes a little bit of digging to do and stuff like that but you just download it once you go ahead and do that it's going to just you know show you a bunch of different options you don't have to worry about any of that if you want there's like volume and stuff like that but that's just how you want it if you want it to be a little bit more if you want it to be a little bit less of how you see it on your keyboard you can just change that and play with it. You could have it like different colors and stuff like that. But if you just keep it default, it should work perfectly fine with Razer. I do want to say that I am not, you know, some pro with this whole Razer thing. With Logitech, I just did it like maybe about 30 minutes ago. So everything is brand new to me. I haven't done Razer in a while. So I know those two are the for sure applications that you need to download in order for it to work. I'm 100% visualizer. I'm not quite sure about Synapse. But that's just pretty much how you have access to go ahead and and light up your keyboard and dance on everybody and you know have your whole entire setup light up with you i think it's pretty sick again this was just added last patch literally this morning and i'm the first person to let you know about how to do this because there i tried to look there's really nothing about this so this is really really cool for you guys but anyways guys thank you all so much for watching today's video i really hope that you guys did enjoy it if you did don't forget to smash that like button down below it lets me know that this did help you out and it worked for you as well and feel free to subscribe if you are into the channel and if you want to go ahead and use my supporter creator there is a new event right that's going on right now if you uh, use a supporter creator you get a free wrap i already have it so you guys can get it too but guys you guys are amazing i will see you on the next one have an amazing day peace out